your weather rate certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. I know logistically this can't happen, but will I ever hear your name on the winner for Mass Singer tickets? Oh, no, 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 never. You will never hear my name on the winning list for Mass Singer. And that's not even because I'm not allowed to enter. I just don't much care for the Mass hey, Singer. Hey, I've been, we've, we love keep and watching So You Think You Could Dance at least tonight. So if they have free tickets, I'm going. If they're coming to Huntsville. Okay, just because I sat here and watched half of So You Think You Can Dance, I don't want you to get it in your head that I actually like the show. Or that you're going with me. Or that I'm ever <laughs> going to go watch So You Think You Can Dance in person. We've seen a lot of rain recently across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. And I know you're going to look at these numbers real quick and you're going to be like, well, you've talked about much higher numbers. And you're right, I have. These are simply radar estimates. They're not down to an exact science. They're not at all based on viewer reports on the ground. These are just radar estimates, but they still tend to convey a really good message that we've seen a lot of rain south of the Tennessee River, especially southern Madison County and then portions of northeast Alabama, portions of DeKalb and Marshall counties, portions of Coleman County have seen a significant amount of rain just over the last couple of days. Lower totals north of the river up into southern middle Tennessee and lower totals back across northwest Alabama. Still, we've been talking about a deficit for quite some time. Over the last couple of days, I'm fairly confident we've essentially made up for whatever deficit we've been talking about over the last week and a half. Many of us are quiet this evening across North Alabama, southern middle Tennessee. Still talking about a little bit of rain back across northeast Alabama, DeKalb, down into Marshall County. Uh, maybe portions of Morgan and Lawrence counties talking about a couple of light sprinkles. Uh, maybe still talking about a little bit of widespread rain down around Coleman County. Still got a couple of different flash flood warnings in effect, I would expect those to expire over the next couple of hours as we head into the overnight and we continue to dry things out across the Tennessee Valley. As we head into the Thursday morning commute and then through the first half of your Thursday afternoon, looks like we're going to be relatively dry, though still dealing with a little bit of cloud cover across the Tennessee Valley. Looks like some of that cloud cover might actually lift out of here as we head into your Thursday evening. Overall, it should be a really nice Thursday across the Tennessee Valley. Mostly dry, uh, we get to enjoy a little bit of sunshine. That quiet weather is going to be somewhat short-lived as we head into your Friday morning. We're talking about another opportunity for rain across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. And that opportunity for rain is going to stick with us as we head into your Friday afternoon. And then even as we head into Friday evening by five, six o'clock at night on Friday, uh, still dealing with a couple of light rain showers. Friday does bring about our best opportunity for rain through the forecast period now that we're getting beyond Wednesday. Other than that, I have small opportunities for rain as we head into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. I've thrown in a 10% chance each and every day. Uh, that's more your summer shower variety thing. Most of us end up staying dry. Uh, a couple of us get a couple of quick showers. Didn't look like we're talking about any thunderstorms or anything like that as we head into next week. A slow drying as we head into the overnight. Otherwise, it is going to be warm. Temperatures dropping into the mid-60s. Got a low right around 68 degrees. 85 for your Thursday afternoon. An isolated shower certainly can't be ruled out, but again, it does look like uh, most of us are going to be dry. I don't believe there was a trash Panda's game tonight. I think that actually got rained out. They should be able to play it tomorrow. 78 at 7, 74 by 8, 70 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Though I do think it is going to be uh, just a touch on the humid end of the spectrum. 81 for your Friday, 83 on Saturday. Scattered showers possible Saturday. Uh, Sunday looks a little drier. Got a high right around 89. And then we really begin to heat things up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Temperatures climbing into the low and mid 90s. It's going to be obscenely humid next week, which means we could be adding a third digit to the heat index values, Julia.